Okay, so you have a uh, heavily schisto stone with uh, quartz stringers all throughout, and you have veins of sulfides. So you can see you have uh, quartz here, schists. There appears to be little mineralization here, a little bit of oxidization, but uh, nothing crazy. As you go over, you have more oxidized chests. And then, a vein of sulfides. So it's very small and uh, very brittle, you can see. which is not uh, uncommon for this area. So what we're gonna do is pull a tiny little chip sample off here and we are going to send this in, see what we get out of it. So when you're taking a chip sample, you don't need a lot of rock. I mean, obviously the, the more the better. Um, in case the test is uh, not good. But we always send in between uh, 50 and 100 grams, which really isn't all that much rock. Something about this size. All right, so here's the first two pieces we pulled off. You can see coarse grain pyrite and quartz. You have more of a solid sulfide vein there. So when you take your sample, you always want to take it from one side to the other. You want to remove some of this, some of that, your host rock. Especially with these small veins, when you mine them out, uh, you're never just going to get your, your mineral. You're always going to have some of your host rock in there. So you want to get an average grade of the vein. So you always do side to side. Uh, where as you're working a big vein, uh, and you can get solid mineral, you would just take a sample of the solid mineral. But for this, we're just kind of looking for a, a grade of this. So we're going to take uh, these two samples and we're going to pull off another little chunk off here. Send that in. Alright, so we got our sample here. We'll post these same results after.